Haha. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is LGGamerCV, and uh, welcome to Microsoft Paint. Yes, I know this seems a little weird, but um, let me explain. That's some good tea right there. But anyway, the, the tea is completely unrelated to this situation. What the situation is, is I have been watching Joel from Vine Sauce, and he did Bob Ross in Mario Paint. Now, Microsoft Paint is basically just a more advanced version of Mario Paint without music. So, I figured, if I do it in Microsoft Paint, can I do it any better? Probably not. So, we're going to be listening to the episode Mystic Mountain, which is apparently Season 20, Episode 1. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the original episode in the description below, and hey, maybe you guys can uh, pull up this video on one half of the screen, and your Microsoft Paint on the other half, and uh, maybe you can paint along with Bob and I. That's still good tea. Alright. Gonna be drinking a, a, lot, a lot of tea. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Yes. I feel so relaxed. Yep. You go, Bob. Still, uh, still painting that picture. Yep, now, now he bowed and he's leaving. Leaving, I guess. Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Hi, Bob. I'd like to welcome you to the 20th Joy of Painting series. <laughs> of well, it's a pleasure to, to be here. This is a 20th series, but it, it is, and I'd like to thank you very much for inviting me back for another series of painting shows. You're welcome, Bob. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your brushes and your paints and, and paint along with us each show. I think you'll enjoy yeah. it. Yeah! Hey, but let's start out today and have run all the colors across the screen. That you need to paint along with right. me. I think we'll just do a happy little picture. Titanium today. white. So let me tell you what I've got done blue. up here. We have our standard old Prussian blue, 24 inch canvas, but you use whatever Midnight size black. you want. And I we have use it covered with a little 1200 by 850 just pixels. Coat, just enough to make the canvas wet. And with that, we'll just take off and we'll have a super time. I'll start today, I think I'll use a little one inch brush and we'll go into a very, very small amount of the Thalo blue. Okay, blue. Just a little bit. Don't want much. All right, what do you want from me, let's Bob? Let's make some. Let's make some happy little clouds in our world. Let's come right up here. All right. And we'll just take this brush. All right. And we'll just bounce in some some nice shapes. Now, when we're doing this, we're interested in the white area, not the dark. Okay. So don't worry about the dark area. Gosh. We're gonna blend that all out. Why is this pen so all small? All we're doing is putting in some color for the shadows of our clouds. Okay. And this is one of the nicest, easiest ways of making very effective, great big old clouds. Uh, there. Yeah. See, yeah, Bob! What do you want from me? Again. Maybe there's another Close cloud enough. that lives in our world right along there. They're fine, that's where it goes. Wherever you think they should be. No, I freaking... Then that's Wait a minute. exactly where they should be. Please tell me... Just where... Yes, spray tool! And just use the old little one-inch brush. Now making tiny little circles. Just tiny little circles. Okay. There we are. Okay. Tiny little circles. Okay, Tiny little circles. Little color right in here too. All right, color right in here. All right, Just Bob. Just be a little color at the base of this cloud. There. Now then, let's take our little brush. This is a two-inch brush. Okay. And go right up in here, and very gently, I'm using just the corner of the brush. Oh my gosh. Make a little round circle. Oh, this is too complicated. Sort of wind it up, blend it together. Allow it to blend with the white that's already on the canvas. The white. And that's the joy of this wet-on-wet -wet painting technique. <laughs> that's what she said. It's wet allows you to blend color right on the canvas. I can't make my computer wet. It'll explode. There you go. Now it's beginning to make a little ah. sense. No. See how those dark areas end up being the nice shadows, and, and the white areas will end up being our clouds. All right, there we go. This I think I fixed it. to make clouds for seascape paintings. Ah. Okay, Bob. I'm following your instructions here. Nice. Yep, all right, there we go. Yep. And then while we have this old brush dirty, tell you what let's do. Let's go back into a little bit more of that thalo blue. You want thalo more blue? blue a very nice color, it's very warm blue. I, I can like give it. you more blue, Bob! Just a More color. blue Just everywhere! Let's have some water in this painting. If you've painted with me before, you 
know I'm a fanatic for water. All right. I love water. Water. And it's one of the nicest, easiest things to paint. In this maybe day. I should have picked a smaller canvas. And today, maybe this one will be still water. So we want these lines to be basically straight across here. Okay. All right. But as you know, still water is always flat, always level. All right. There. All right. Now, just very lightly. Go you sure this is a good idea, Bob? I mean, you're the man, I guess. It'll remain in there. All right, then. Okay. Now, the most fun part of this whole technique is washing the brush. So let's do that. We oh. wash our brushes okay. with odorless thinner. All right, then. Shake off the excess. All right. All right. Whoa! <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. This okay, is where you take out all your frustrations and hostilities and just have a good time. Okay, then. Let's go into a little titanium white. White. You use the old fan brush. We'll make some little clouds. I'll be right back. Let me grab a least little touch of the bright red. Well, just enough, a little bit more. There, well, just enough to you put want a little pink now? glow into our You want clouds. pink now, Bob? Don't want much. I don't want much. Okay, don't so know, I don't know how to match that color, Bob. we got to make big decisions. I think that's we'll close enough. we use this brush and decide where our little clouds live. I'm using the spray tool way too much. This also works very well. Okay. The little one inch brush. Very well. These brushes are too small. Either the brushes are too small or the canvas is too big. This is basically the size of a sheet of paper. I've painted with this before. One of the things that we try to do here, we try not to teach you just to copy. All we're trying to do is teach you a technique and turn you loose on the world. Shut up, Bob. I'm going to put my clouds anywhere I want. All we do is just sort of have an idea in our mind, and we just sort of let it let it happen. Yeah, those look like some good clouds. We'll practice this a little bit. Very All right, clouds. Soon. You can enjoy clouds everywhere. Creating a painting right on the canvas. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Canvas, and to me, that's where it really becomes fun. It's when you can just literally create a painting right on the canvas. Bob, I I have a spray can. This is the best I can do. Look at what you're doing, and, and you'll see things. They'll just sort of happen. And you learn to take advantage of whatever happens and use it to you to make your painting special. And you can do that. Okay. All right, then. Okay. Let's go back. Ooh. Our old two-inch brush. And I just want to now blend all that together. Just okay. Blend it together. I'm being careful not to touch these top edges yet. I'm just blending the blue all right. and white down here together. Blue and white. Gently. Still using little circular strokes. All right, then, Bob. There we go. I don't have the authority to argue with you. I'm getting very close to the top, but I'm trying not to touch right. it at this point. Right, very close to the top. Very close, but not touching. Very close, not touching. Yeah. Not touching. Got it. In here. Okay, so here. See. Just sort of blend it together. Mix it up. All right, Just blend like everything together. All right, you got it, Bob. Just this looks it. terrible. This looks nothing like the painting. Probably got, like, got a little too frustrated in the beginning. Okay, good. Oh, they spit on my computer. This is a beautiful way. Oh, uh, well, I missed a step. What? Like Bob, how, how did you get that? It's a beautiful way to create Duh. big, fluffy clouds. Now we're just sort of lifting it up. Oh, no. This will blend it all together. There's not enough blue. There's not enough blue in the world. There. Not enough blue to go around. And then very lightly, mm. two hairs come on, and some come hair. Come just come gently, gently, gently. Shut up, Bob. I'm trying to fix my mistakes. And with that... Okay. Shoot. We have a pretty nice looking little sky. It looks like crap! Anything to it. Now then, let's get crazy. Oh! Let's take, we'll use some midnight black. Racist. Prussian blue. My Prussian blue okay. is much darker than thalo blue. It's strong. Ooh. Very strong color. We'll put some Van Dyke brown, little lizard and crimson in there too. I don't know what color that is! Dark color. It should look black. Okay. Not as flat as you can get it. Go straight down with the knife. Okay, fine. And we'll just cut off a little roll of paint. There it is. It's right out of the edge of the knife. Let's okay. go up here. Wait now, I want, to, I want to make some tiny little mountains up in here that are far away. What? I don't want these to be very big. No. Because we want to create the illusion of distance here. What? Using a very firm pressure. Um, just literally push this right into the fabric. Okay. Okay. And I don't want, I don't want a lot of mountains today. That's about all we need. Yeah, it's too bad we don't have enough happy trees. No, what? What was that? No! Undo. Removes excess paint. Okay. 
I'm trying, I'm trying, Bob. There we go. You know, we're painting right. mountains, as you know. All right. You always want the top of the mountain to be more distinct than the bottom of the mountain. Because at the bottom, we have mist, and now we have wonderful pollution. And we have all these things that break up and diffuse the light, and it creates this softness okay. at the base of the mountain. Let's go into a little titanium white. What the heck? Titanium white. Very small amount. Get a very... Very small amount of pain. I'm trying to make mountains, Bob! You're yeah, asking too much of me. Barely touching. No Looks pressure. like butts. Pressure. And I don't want this to be very distinct. I want this to be very quiet. Looks literally like Subdued. butts. Far away. Gem you know what? Screw it. We'll go with that. We'll go with so butt mountain. Think about those types of words and stuff when you're painting. It'll help you. It'll help your hand. Yeah. Much more gentle. Soft. Whatever. Just don't want a lot of detail in this. Whatever, butt mountain. I'm take a little bit of blue and white. Blue and white. Just the indication of some shadow. Don't even want a lot of shadow back here. Okay, no shadow. Too much detail. We're burning that illusion of right. distance. Bob, shut up. Just enough. I'm trying to make art, Bob. The feeling that there's a nice mountain living back in there. Yeah, that's a nice mountain right there. Oh, what did I mess this up so badly? Always follow those angles. That's right, Joel! Gonna very gently. Okay. Very gently. Tap okay. it and then lift it upward. Right then. And that'll help. Also, Can't argue with you, you're the man. At the base of the mountain. Shoot. Then. Let's get crazy. Uh, Find another right. one inch brush. Alright. Maybe a fan brush, whatever. Take a little bit more of the titanium white. Maybe in our All right. world. Maybe this old right. cloud right here. Yeah. It just sort of dripped right down. In front of the mountain. Cloud. Mm -hmm. Alright, cloud, I so guess. Just a little white. Okay, cloud, I guess. Circles. Tiny little circles. Just stupid Facebook notifications. Okay, cloud. Maybe this one right here. Alright. I don't know. I don't know. Just sort of look at your okay. painting and, and make a decision. Alright. Maybe it just sort of wraps this old mountain up. <laughs> it's butt mountain! Two inch brush. I can't, I can't get over this. It looks like butt. This is a super. I am incredibly mountain. mature. You look like you're just laying out here in the mist. I lived in Alaska for many, many years. And you see some of the most beautiful scenery there. Uh -huh. God was having a good day when he made Alaska. Mm. Yay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. There, see that old mountain just lays up here. We gotta, now and floats we gotta blend it. Has how do you how do you blend in Microsoft and Paint? Maybe we'll have some little foothills back. I like to do little foothills. Okay. Okay, foothills we'll it is then. That same mountain color. I had a least little touch of sap green to it. Yeah, Bob, I'm, I'm trying to make art for blue. you. The one is circle. Here. We'll make predominantly blue. I, I can't even make circles for you, Bob. And let's use, we use a one-inch brush, what the heck. All right, one-inch brush. Hand brush or two-inch brush, it, it doesn't matter. This is why I'm a YouTuber and not an artist. Let's go right up in here. And we have this looks nothing like the actual picture. Where does our little foothills live? Maybe we'll have one coming right over here. Okay. We'll start this one out back here. All right, foothills. in the corner of the brush. Foothills. Straight down. Can't mess this up too badly, right? Okay, wait, that, that's more of a really dark right green. I can't. Wherever. Okay. Want Once more again, spray tool, Bob? Gosh. Painting is. Okay. So, just sort of look at well, it. Well, now I can actually it see it. What you're painting to be. Now then, when you're doing foothills, especially layers of foothills, you want a little okay. misty area in between. That's your separator. So take okay. a brush, two-inch brush, and just tap the base. Oh, what? Yes. You can tap quite firmly. You yes. can probably hear how... No slightly lighter green? All right, Bob. And then very lightly, just lift it upward a little bit. There. All right, then. Okay. Now, maybe we'll have several layers in here. When you're doing landscapes, okay. each layer... Each plane, as it comes closer to you, should get darker in value. This painting so is like color. only... Wait, it's supposed now to get darker? Add a bit of that mountain color. See, it's right here. I'll just add a little lead into it. That'll make it a little darker. Maybe Bob, what do you want from me? There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, maybe over here, we'll hold the brush up like this. Okay. And that'll make them tops that are a little taller and a little more distinct because they're getting a little closer to you. Okay. There. But you can create just layer after layer after layer like this. Layers. Enhances your painting tremendously because it creates that illusion of depth. Cool. Back 
Tartuffe Fresh. Once again. 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 Once
not I have failed you. I have failed you so horribly. I have brought shame and dishonor upon my family. Who knows? Maybe there's some land there too. You can just push up with a fan brush and a little bit down. What do you want from me? For the reflection. And let's take, we'll use old two Okay, little island. And grab this. Decide where water and land meet and pull straight down once again. Straight okay. down. Okay. Bob, I can't, I can't, I can't pull straight down in Microsoft Paint. That easy. Yeah. That easy. And see you these It's not easy! See how you can push them? Because the canvas is wet, you can do that. You can do anything here. On this canvas, you have total and absolute power. No, I don't! Power here. I have no power in this realm! I'm scared, Bob! I can do anything that I want to do. We have the majestic Butts Mountain in the background! With stupid happy trees! You called stupid trees. Lives in these. There. Shut up. Don't want a great deal. Don't want a great deal. Just enough to. Just enough to indicate there's something in there. And you can just take the point of the knife. And just scrape through and make little lines and sticks. How and do I and scrape in my cause I'll paint? Let me grab another fan brush. I have several of them going here. And let's take and go into a little yellow. This is cad yellow. Okay, you want yellow? A little touch of that color that we made the tree out of, since it has blue in it. As soon as we touch you the yellow, green. it turns beautiful green color. Maybe a little yellow ochre, too. I want a dark green here. Once again, load the bristles quite Whoa. full. A lot of color. Let's go up here. It looks like puke. Now then, let's put some highlights on these little trees. Don't want to overdo. If you, mm. if you put too much highlights on here, too many highlights, then it okay. loses its effectiveness. We want these to be quite dark. None of this is effective. That's all there is to it. Darker, darker, darker. You know, maybe down here there's some little grassy things that grow on this. And you can just make those by pushing up with a brush. That's all. Okay. okay. Very easy. Now, let's have some land under there. We need something to hold those trees up so they don't fall over in the water and make a big splash. There. Mm -hmm. Little bandag brown, little dark sienna mixed together. Like so. We'll take a little touch of that brown and white. Mm -hmm. Just make the indication mm -hmm. of a little land there. You have a little land, right. A little bit of the liquid white that we had left over. And we'll just put in a little water line. Mm -hmm. This water line is your separator. It's a light between two darks. Oh, and that separates there is it. no makes light. It, makes it stand out. All right. Everyone is dead, and yeah, I well, killed just them. Just use this big brush. Ready to have some fun? No. If you've painted with me before, you know that I love to make big trees. So let's do that. More trip today. Bob, what kind of weird tree brush. hell have you plunged me into? We're afraid of it. A lot of paint. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle. Sharpen it. Just like you would a knife. Look how sharp this brush is. There you can see. Yeah, I could probably Very cut sharp. someone with that. Okay, let's go up here. Now then, maybe in our world lives a big evergreen tree. Right there. Just touch the canvas. Why are there so many trees, Bob? The just the corner of the brush. Just go back. I'm, and I'm forth. still trying to blend this stupid mountain. And laying in all of these beautiful little limbs oh, and stuff that live here on this tree. Tell you what. Okay, that's good. Well, I have good. another one. You knew that, didn't you? Oh, why? I'd have a friend out here. There. There's so many trees. Okay. There's too many trees. Now then, let's have some. Maybe there's some big, leafy trees, not evergreens that live here. Okay. There. Let's just push in some. Push I don't in know some what you want from me. Leaf and branch shapes. I think Look the problem that. is I'm given too much power, so I don't know what to do. Brush. You can do this very rapidly. Now, let's go on the other side. We need some over here, too. Now, you could do this with a one-inch brush if you wanted to. Mm. Works just as well. Just as well. This is just a little bit faster. Yeah, Bob! You're going too fast faster. for me. Bob, please. Bob, please. Just bring it right on down, right on down. Bob, you please. have to start making big decisions. Just put it there. Yes. Nice bush lives there. Please, Mr. Bush. Right, let's get crazy. Bobby. Maybe. 
Bob, you're going too fast. I'm accidentally clicking buttons I don't want to click. In your world, you can do anything that you want. If you want I actually want to make a good painting. Bushes and trees to come all the way across. Then do it. Do it. All right. Now then, we can just take a clean knife. Huh. And just make the indication of little sticks and twigs just by scraping. Okay, that's annoying. We're going to cover most of those up. But oh some my gosh. Show. We can even use None of the brushes are effective. Put the indication of a trunk. Not a great deal of detail, just a little. But over here. here. Cause these are gonna be deep in the old tree here. You're not gonna see much of them. <laughs> but they're there. I'm trying to still yeah. make bushes, Bob. Let's take, we'll dip the brush into a little of liquid white. Liquid One white. We'll go right through. I'll use a little cad yellow. And then grab some sap green up here. There we are. Okay, the yellow sap green. One line green, one Bob. Direction. Load a lot of color in it. Just go up here. Now then, think about all your little leaves and stuff here that okay. would just shine. And, oh, they would sparkle out here in the sun under this big mountain. What? And when you're painting, make up little stories. The there once was a man named Aldrin in 63. He wanted to make entertaining videos, but then he sucked. And he can't do anything correctly. He can't even make a tree correctly. He's been using the spray tool too much. Down toward the base of the tree, though. Darker, darker. Add a little yellow ochre here, there. A little Indian yellow sometimes. Just. There's got to be something better I can do with my life. Wherever you want them. There we are. Please, Bob. A little touch of bright red even here and there. It's up to you. Well, to you. There's, there's a little, there. uh... And you choose even the time of year. Let's go to this other big tree over here. Okay. Maybe over Where here. The orange? There lives, there lives, this big tree. This orange yeah. needs to be darker. Think about individual shapes and form in the side of this tree. Okay. Don't just throw it on at random. Think about, think about the limbs inside the tree that give it shape and form. Bob, please, you're going too fast. There. Ah! Bob, look what you did. Okay. You messed up the... Darker, darker, darker. Okay. Down here toward the base. I, th I think I got it. Much darker. Okay. Let's have a bush right here that has red flowers on it. Look at that. Yeah, uh, bushes. Ah, oh, Bob, please. Of red on the end of the brush. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Do too much green everywhere. Just do one bush at a time, though. One at a time. Okay. There they go. Oh, gosh. Okay. Just wherever you want them. Uh -huh. Shoot, it's coming along pretty nice. There. Okay. Wait, no, wait, that's a on highlight. The other side over here, and we'll put in some little bushes here. Huh. And you can use the brush sidewards. Just push upward and create all mm -hmm. kinds of little things. Just like so. Oh. All right. I'm going to put a little path in here, a little Van Dyke brown. we got just a second Bob, left, so I'll throw that in. I was getting distracted brown by all the light. brushes. Give us an indication of a little path. Oh, well, that would have we worked a lot better. Put a little bush over the top of it, and it set it right down into the painting. Oh. Shoot, I think we have a finished painting. For that, Wait, I'm going to wish you happy what? painting. And no. God bless my friend. I'll see no. you next show. No! Oh, no. Wait. Maybe this is still salvageable. Maybe I can make this not look like butts. Da 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 Okay. Okay. How's it look? Did, did I make an art? Did I make a good art? Probably not. <laughs> this went so badly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Bob, I failed you. I have made a mockery of your work. Oh, God. I, I am an insult to you and your afro. Oh. Anyway, I hope this episode was entertaining enough to watch me fail. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.